Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. I'm Simon and today I'm going to show you how to build one of these using WLED. So WLED is a really cool open source project that is available for controlling addressable LEDs. So I purchased one of these 16 by 16 LED matrixes recently off AliExpress. I will leave the link in the description below. It's about 17 New Zealand dollars. So really cost effective. And all you need along with this is a ESP32 and a five volt power supply. And then I've just used a picture frame to mount this inside of. And as you can see, it makes a really cool project. Now, WLED is really cool. It allows you to either control it via the app on your phone or via the, um, the website, the URL, or even better, I control it via my home assistant. And I'm gonna show you how easily it integrates locally with home assistant. So next, what we need to do is flash this to the ESP32. And I'll leave the link in below and I'll show you how to do it. So I've plugged my ESP32 into my computer using a USB cable. And all I need to do now is hold down the boot or the flash button on the ESP32. Uh, press the install over here. Uh, select the USB bridge controller and go connect. And there we go, it's already connecting. We want to install WLED and we select yes. And there we go, it's preparing the installation and it will now flash all of the software over to my ESP32. Um, you'll see by default, it selects the latest release, which is 0.14.0-B1. And that's the one I wanna use because that's got all the latest information available, which allows it to uh, control a matrix, a 2D matrix with some really cool effects all loaded up. So once it's complete, we can go next and then we need to type in our network name and our password. Now we can connect and we'll now connect to the Wi-Fi and now we can go over here, we can select visit device and now you can see we're now connected to the WLED app. So this is just in the uh, URL. You can see there's the URL of mine. And now what we want to go and do is configure a couple of things before we connect this up. So the first thing we've done, we've done our Wi-Fi already. So that's great. So next up, we want to go to our LED preferences. So the first thing we want to do is look at the maximum current that the power supply can supply to the LEDs. So if you've got, I've got a 2.5 amp power supply, 5 volts. So I'm going to select 2500 as the maximum milliamp hours okay i've got a five volt supply so that's fine i can just leave it over there and i've got ws281 leds and the last thing that i have to do here is i've got a 16 by 16 matrix um, array so mine is 264 individual leds that i'm going to be using okay so that is pretty much all we need to do here. So we go along and we save it, all right? And then the next thing we need to do is go to our 2D configuration because we've got a 2D matrix. So there we go. Panel description dimensions on this one is 16 by 16, okay? So that's great. Um, and then the last thing we want to do over here, and you might need to play around about this with this a little bit, but I'm going to select, this is the actual, the direction that the LEDs are installed on your panel. I'm just going to select bottom LED as my first one, horizontal, and I'm going to tick the serpentine block, which just is the way that the LEDs are connected in the row. So if it doesn't work, you might need to change these um, around a little bit, but that's the general idea. So we go save, and now the WLED is all set up and ready to go. Now all we need to do, we can go back here to the main area, and now I will show you how to connect the wiring for this project. So when we're doing the wiring, 
Uh, might be a little bit difficult to see, but basically what we've got here, on the back of this panel, there's three different sets of wires, but it doesn't really matter. The key thing is that you need to select one of the red and black pairs. So you need to collect the red and the black to the power supply. So I've got the two wires coming in from the 5 volt power supply. And just make sure that you select the correct plus and minus from your power supply when you connect this. So you need to connect that. And then the green wire that comes off the back of this board is the signal wire. So you need to make sure there's an in and an out signal. So you need to make sure that you select the green wire from the in signal. And then what you do is you create, you link the green wire from the in signal and that needs to go along to the RX port. RX2 is the one that I'm using on my ESP32. Um, it's uh, port number or uh, connection number 16 on the ESP32 and that one seems to work fine on mine. So that is how easy it is to connect it up. So this is the wiring diagram of the ESP32. So what I forgot to tell you in the last um, piece of the video was that you also need to connect ground and 5 volts on this side to the ESP32. So effectively your power comes in from the supply, it goes straight to the LED matrix and it also gets connected to the ground and the power in on the ESP32. So you'll see there we've got the ground and the power in. Be careful not to connect it on this side. This is for 3.3 volts. We want to make sure we connect it to the VIN, which is the 5 volt input here. And we're taking it out of the signal is coming out of GPIO 16. That's the one that's been specified in WLED. You can change it, but not all of the pins work. So I would check and just stick with this GPIO 16, which is marked as the RX2 on your ESP32 device. So that's how easy it is to connect it up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tie this in with Home Assistant. Now the, autom the beautiful thing is that it's automatically detected this already in my Home Assistant. So I'm just going to go configure and it says do you want to add the WLED to Home Assistant and I'm going to go submit and I'm going to select an area that I'm putting this in the bedroom. You can probably hear that in the background. My Alexa's already picked that up. So I can control that from Alexa as well. So now we're going to go finish. And that is literally how easy it is. You'll see that I now have two WLED devices up set up here. And there we go. You can have one as a master and one as a secondary. And that is how easy it is to set up. Once you've got WLED going, you can then go in and you can start playing with your WLED um, let's just go back here and back here. So once you're in WLED here, you've got a whole lot of options. Now the one that I showed you that was playing on my little device is the, if I scroll down the bottom here, um, we get the, there we go, uh, black hole. That's the one. So that is the one that I had playing at the moment. Now if we peek at that, you'll see there that it shows you exactly what is actually playing on the device. So we'll just go back there to the uh, configuration. There we go. So you can, with this WLED, it's very, very flexible. You can do all sorts of things. You can either select plain colors. You can select the, um, the strength or how strong you want them on. You can go down here. You can even do this, which is a scrolling um, text. So if we scroll down to the bottom here, you will find here that we have a text, scanning text, scrolling text. There we go. So this is awesome. Um, this one will, as a standard, it will show you the date and time. But I've actually discovered a way where you can actually go and create your own scrolling text. So if we go here to the segment section and we click the little pencil there, you can actually type in whatever you want the scrolling text to say. Click the little um, the little arrow over here and it will start scrolling your own custom text. Anyway, that's all for me today. Start playing around with your WLED and let me know what you think. Have a great week. Bye then.